so this is actually using some receipts. Uh, so I go to Rochester where our corporate headquarters are. I always grab a couple of receipts from that. Now, what happens here, this is what we call a pre-built connector. So Azure, I love Azure. I think it's one of the best engines. I feel that it performs really well. So in our setup, and again, we're not going through the setup today, but I just select sales receipts from the dropdown and now it automatically just works. And there's predefined fields that Azure sales receipts return. So you can see it there, merchant name, merchant address, merchant phone, date, subtotal, tip, tax, and total amount. And then all I need to do is hit the autofill button and it automatically just starts working. And you're gonna see like some of these receipts are upside down, they're sidewards and it, it could actually read it. Um, so depending on the type and you're gonna see my penmanship at this, you can saw I picked up $2 for that tip in 1415. You know, penmanship is so different across not only languages, but just, you know, humans, they just they just do things differently. So if I come in here and we're going to grab um, a new batch, I'm going to come into our, I'm sorry, here we got our Azure receipts and we're going to go grab a couple receipts and we'll go to receipts here. Okay, now I'm just going to grab a couple of these were two restaurant receipts and my Chipotle, my gas receipt, and a couple of these. So is that the Marriott? And again, they're all in um, their own documents. Okay, and again, I've already preloaded these, so let's take a look. Um, all right, so the first one, uh, it got the total amount, and this was sidewards. As you can see here, it's not the, it's pretty, it, it's clean, but as you notice, it picked up the merchant name, all this information automatically, but but it's sidewards. So I was able to read it sidewards. Here we got similar. Um, it got the sub subtotal. It got the total amount. Um, here again, we did the same thing, sidewards. All right, here did a good job reading that. And and again, if you look, I didn't really put a period in between. This is one of my hot spots, the Rochester Airport Marriott Bar. Um, I don't drink, but it, you know, I got I got the mac and cheese that night with some lobster in it, and then uh, you could see here how this this is one of my favorite spots at the Man at the Rochester Airport. They do a great chicken panini, and I, I put it. I can't believe it got that. It's two dollars. Got this fourteen fifteen, and literally, it's doing this. I didn't set up anything. It literally just does this. Um, and then here you the go. The document got, two is red on the left side. Why is that? Yeah, because it got a low confidence on, you can see on the far right here, you can see it didn't it didn't know if that was Casey's general store. I would say that this receipt isn't the cleanest looking receipt um, that you've ever seen, um, which is even more impressive. Um, but you can see here, all I would have to do is just click that indicator and hit the next, and you see close batch and the batch closes.